Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about copper smears in your work. So smearing copper is a pretty common thing that may happen if you press too hard with abrasives. Now copper is prone to this, silver is prone to this, any sort of your softer metals are prone to what they call smearing. And that's where the surface material gets heated up to a point of friction on the contact that it actually gets a little bit melty and it moves. It smears the work over. Now this will be a very interesting problem if you're hoping to obtain any sort of super high finish works like a mirror finish in a final product because copper smearing will smear over little divots and things in your work. So you may see, you can't really see in this bowl because it's already fairly shiny and reflective, but there's some little tiny dots right here. Hopefully you can see all that in the camera. There's a, can't really see it way back here, but there are some little tiny dots, nicks, things of that nature that's in this bowl piece. And what happens is as you smear your work, if you're pressing too hard with your abrasives to take and get out those, grind those things out, right? The theory is, you know, your thought process is if I really grind in on that, it's going to, uh, it's going to help get those blemishes out. It really doesn't. What happens is it takes the good copper from the one side and kind of just smears it across that joint and you get a little bit of a little flap that covers up that area for a time being, usually in that grit, that specific grit that you're polishing with. So what will end up happening much later on down in the road when you move to finer and finer finishing grits and you're not having to press as hard as what your original grits were, what tends to happen is it sands down that little flap that is flapped over, it sands that away and it reveals what? It reveals what's underneath it, the part that you smeared over. Now I found this to be pretty true and pretty consistent in, you know, last thousand or so bowls that I have done, it been able to look at this pretty in depth and say, okay, yeah, that happens every time I'm really trying to get the most out of an abrasive pad or a grinding wheel or something of that nature. Now this can also, it doesn't happen as much in stuff like steel and things of that nature. It's usually in your softer metals. Your softer metals have a real problem with this. So how can we combat that? The simplest way to combat that is to change out, yes, I know they're expensive, but change out your pads very, very often. So this is a 320 grit sanding disc. It's a Diablo brand, um, made in Switzerland. Uh, you can pick these up at Home Depot. They last decent for the type of work that I do though. Uh, they're not the greatest, but you know they, they work for right now. But here's a clean one for comparison. There's a clean one, there's a used one. This is where I stop and I chuck it. It looks like a perfectly good pad, but the problem is, is you'll notice that the cutting action is not as great. So I change pads often. It is very worthwhile for you to take and do that. One of the other things that you can do to help prevent against smearing copper, if you're doing any sort of copper work or any sort of fine metal work is to have a variable speed control on your tooling or your equipment so you can adjust you can adjust that control right you can adjust the speed in which that the thing runs at that is a huge help like this one I can turn it down on one or I can turn it all the way up to six So just having that control where you can bring that thing down uh, in, you know, you can drop that, how do I want to say it, drop that speed, drop that rotation speed or the cutting action on the disc will really help prevent that smearing from occurring. 
it's really frustrating after you think you've got something all completely sanded, it looks nice and smooth, you're ready to go on to your polish work, you start polishing and then you start buffing and you start buffing out that finish and all of a sudden little dots start showing up, little black dots out of nowhere, these little specks. You're like, what in the world is that, right? And you keep trying to polish and polish and polish it out and it doesn't come out and it's because it's something where the sand pad has smeared over that little inclusion into the piece or into the surface of the material versus grinding it out. So I hope this little tip will help you out there if you are working with softer materials. Obviously, if you're working with softer materials, if you start with really clean material to begin with and you make sure that you don't have any scale on it and or stuff stuck to it as you hammer along, it will save you boatloads in time when it comes to actual finishing work. So hopefully this helped you. If it did, leave a comment down below. Share this around your friends if it uh, makes sense to do so. We thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless you. We'll catch you on the next one.